Welcome back to Ben's Garage. Solar stat time. <laughs> Bit late with this one. I'll explain why. <laughs> Today is the 5th of August. I normally do them at the end of the, uh, the start of the new month for last month, so we're talking about July stats. <sighs> I can't give you a definite answer. So I'll tell you the story. What happened was, Occasionally, very randomly, I have the inverter set. There's priority levels that you can have. So the load is powered by solar first, then the batteries, then the utility, which is the grid. Um, and charging I have set for solar plus utility. So when the sun's out during the day, it charges the batteries up, no problem at all. If it gets the batteries up to a certain level overnight and they stay within the range, then it doesn't pull anything from the grid. If the batteries drop to 20% and there's and it's overnight or there's no sun like today, it's very cloudy. So when the batteries drop to 20%, it'll start charging on from the grid on its own. It's all automatic. You set the parameters. I've got it set for charging from the grid at 20%. And then I've got it switching off at 50% because normally if it does it overnight we don't want to charge the battery up too much because you're paying for the grid. Once the sun's up the next day that's going to charge your batteries up. Anyway, randomly, out of the blue, we'd be sat in the room and you'd hear the inverter sort of going and it's like, what's that all about? You know, sometimes when the fridge or freezer kick in, you, a split second after that you'll hear the inverter sort of just were up a little bit you come through it and it's charging from grid well the last time it did it it only got to 30 percent so it shouldn't have done it so what i did i got in touch with grow what the manufacturer of the inverter and um he said send me the serial number of your inverter and your data logger the data logger is this thing here that just plugs in the bottom of the uh inverter you set it all up through your router and basically that communicates with your inverter and then hooks up to your router which then connects to the grow what server and then it comes back to your app he says yeah i can see that on the whatever date it was it started charging up to charge your batteries at 30 percent during the day so couple of emails backwards and forwards and he, he was sort of saying you know um, can you find out what other time he's done it about three times now so um, I said well I, d I don't know what days it was in the meantime it stopped bloody working so whatever he did I don't it might have just been coincidence these are cheap nothing to them plastic it's probably doesn't need to be as big as that there's probably something in there that's probably just comes down to about that high um, anyway it stopped working so I says so I sent him another email I said since you've been on our system logged into our account and everything this has stopped working there's a little light in the front it was on solid red which means that's faulty it needs replacing so he said, okay, he said, we'll send you a new one. So a few days later, he sent me a new one. I plugged it in, spent a good couple of hours pissing about, trying to get it logged onto the router. It was connecting to the inverter. I managed to get it onto the router. The blue light starts flashing. That means it's connected to the inverter, the router, and the server. So all is good. So open up the app. I and then you have to add the data logger. There's a serial number on the box. You scan that with your phone and it puts all the details into the app. It really is a piece of cake. Um, but it just wouldn't bring any information up. Oh, and I was backwards and forwards. Really, you know, if something doesn't go to work straight away, it begins to be a pain in the ass, doesn't it? Anyway, I sent, sent this chat with another email saying, I think this is the wrong one because it's bringing up a different serial number from our inverter when i put this one in 
once I managed to get it all connected up, because it's not straightforward in the in the uh, instructions, but once I got it all connected up, it brought all our inverter up, all the serial number and everything. And um, it, when I put the new one on, it wasn't doing any of that. And it said it was three phase, and it was this, and it was that, and it was asking me for prices per unit, and this, that, and the other. I thought, so it don't quite look right here. Anyway, another email. I said, I don't think this one is working, or it's an incorrect one. And he looked into it. Yeah, fair enough. They've sent me the wrong bloody one, haven't they? He said, they've sent me the one that for an inverter that you sell back to the grid, which is why you put in your price per unit and stuff like that. We're basically, this, this, although we're connected to the grid, we're classed as an off-grid system. So they're getting in stock within the next week or two weeks, the correct data logger. So for now, we have no way of telling what we're generating. So all I can tell you for July is that on the 27th of July is when it stopped working. We had generated 317 kilowatts uh, for the month of July. We was looking set to break the record. We probably did break the record up until the 27th of July when the data logger stopped working we had done 1963 kilowatt hours I believe and at the moment I should just tell you I'll have a look over my shoulder the inverter is now on 2075 I appreciate we're on the 5th of August now um, I'll do some sums and I'll work it out put it across the screen what I think we've generated in July so yeah we did, I think it was the record month. I think the, the previous best was in May, and that was 330 something. Um, I think we beat that, but I can't show you any graphs or anything. I should have written down our kilowatt hours at the start of August, but I didn't. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be all up and running in a couple of weeks, and. Um, I'll be able to, well, I don't suppose I'll even be able to give you an accurate one for August, but hopefully September onwards we'll be able to give you a monthly solar stats. It's a two thumbs up for Grow What. The communication backwards and forwards, uh, you know, they respond to all my emails. I, did, I was thinking of getting in touch with the people that I bought it from. I thought I'll just go straight to Grow What. They can get into our, they can log into our account and see what's going on. Once they've got the serial numbers and everything, they can log in and see see what I can see. Oh, they can probably see more because they've got obviously the technical side of it. Um, I can't fault them at all. Uh, he did blame it on a packer in a German warehouse that sent out the wrong one. Um, I don't care. They're gonna send me out the correct one. And it's all free of charge. Um, we bought this with the inverter. It was only 25 euros extra for this. Um, and you don't need it, but it is, it's nice just to open up the app. Oh look, we've done 12 kilowatts today. Um, or we're pulling so much from the grid or the house is using this much. You can see a lot of that on the inverter, but it just says I'm to keep coming through here and pressing buttons because the amount that the Hobbit presses these buttons, I think we're going to wear them out fairly soon. <laughs> she comes in, oh look, batteries at 50%, 60%. But um, yeah, so it is nice to have that. Uh, we've got the app on both the iPads. I've got it on my phone and the one on the computer is a bit more comprehensive. It all comes up and you can do this and the other. Um, I just find things on the computer is slightly easier than apps on the phone because it's obviously big screen anyway that's going to be it for this video a little bit of a, a ramble on about what's been happening and the grow what data logger and um yeah can't give you a definite answer of what we generated in um july but i do believe it was our record breaking month and um we'll be back with you next month hopefully it's all up and running again <laughs> well say this doesn't make any difference to the running of it. It still generates power. We're storing power in the batteries. It just means we can't connect to the app. And yet all the app is for monitoring. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.